you and AJ. Our life together means everything to me. Oh God, you're starting to scare well, me. I, all I was trying to do is protect my father, to protect our family. From what? Annie. God, again with Annie. Why can't you just let her go, Jake? Because she's going to suck this family dry if we don't get rid of her. And that's what I had to show my father. That's what I tried to prove to him. That once and for all, that Annie did not love him the way that she claimed to. She never did. So I thought, I thought if I could record her doing something incriminating, my father would finally see her for the parasite that she really is. And all I was going for was for her to admit that she wanted me. Wanted you? Yes. So did she admit it? But it went too far. How far? Say it, JR. I slept with Hattie. I should have never taken that drink from JR. Oh, he played me the fool once before. I was so stupid to let it happen again. Okay, just forget that now. Just rest. No, I don't want to rest. I want to find Marissa and tell her what a piece of garbage she's married to. Well, you might be a little late for that. JR supposedly telling her everything as we speak. No. He doesn't have the guts. Oh, he sounded pretty resolved. Well, that's just great. If JR does tell Marissa, he's going to put a spin on the story that makes me look like the villain and, and saves his ass. He doesn't want to lose her, Annie. Well, maybe he should have thought about that before he had sex with me. And now he thinks he can just toss me off like a piece of trash? I don't think so. I'm not defending my cousin here, but you're not exactly a victim in all of this. What? What do you call being drugged and left to die? He didn't leave you to die. And weren't you blackmailing JR? I was just trying to protect myself. You should have known that was only going to make things worse. Yeah, are you seriously saying this is my fault? Seduction is never one-sided. You and I both know that. We love each other. We need each other. I do love you, Mom. And I know in your own way that you love me. Well, now that doesn't sound like a reason for cutting someone out of your life. But it's what you do with that love. You turn it into something dark and twisted and it somehow always ends up out of control. I know. I know I have made mistakes. I, I know. But it usually only happens when you turn your back on me. It's the only way I can survive. Well, what about me? What about me, though? Amanda, you are my only reason for living. From the moment that you were born, I have loved you with every fiber of my being, with every... Mom, it's too much. It, it is never too much. You can never love a child too much. I mean, look at you. It's the way you love Trevor. You cannot tell me. You don't deny it. Every mother is crazy in love with her child. And if you think you are not like me, then you are lying to yourself. You know what? To prove to you that I am sensitivity personified, I have gone out of my way to spare you the humiliation of going to personnel by having these resignation forms already drawn up. No, we're not going anywhere. Not until we figure out where your lies begin and where they end. Mm. Good luck with that. Oh, look at this. A patient needs me. Do you remember how that feels, Dave? No, I didn't think so. Talk to you. Extension 198 for Dr. You know what you are? You're a cockroach. That's what you are. You get stepped on and then blasted with every insecticide from here to kingdom come, and you just keep skittering right back. Oh, Angela, Angela. <laughs> no one sucks up quite like you do. Oh, thank you. You know, you can buy up all the controlling shares you want, but nothing will erase your crimes or reinstate your medical license. I've already accepted that. Oh, have you? Yes. I have bigger things to think about now. 
But what you need to think about, Angela, is that I am here to stay. Can you honestly say the same thing? Why don't you just fire me? Well, for some reason, my wife seems to have a soft spot for both you and Martin. Don't ask me why. Don't get it. Never will. But be forewarned. If you decide to stay on as chief of staff, I am going to do everything in my power to grind you into the ground. So give this some serious thought, Chief. And don't worry about leaving the hospital high and dry. I have somebody waiting in the wings, ready to step in in a moment's notice. <laughs> Why do you do it? What? Shut me out. I mean, it's very obvious to me that there is something wrong. Nothing's wrong. I just <clears throat> remembered something I meant to tell Madison about some work I left behind, that's all. Really? So you want to call her? No, oh, you can wait. Hey, look, I'm all for diving into work. I really am, except I'm starving. So how about you? I'm good. Are you sure? Stop pretending like you care. The only reason you're here is to help Kendall. And the only reason you're helping Kendall is to try and keep fusion. Now, the last meal we had was on the plane, which was hours ago. I think it would be a really, really bad thing if you passed out in the middle of our meeting with Baya Cosmetics. Fine. I'll have yogurt. No. Soup. Broth. And tea. Are you sure? Yes. 